Plants are normally green because they have a lot of chlorophyll, but when they're stressed, they might be then accumulating other kinds of pigments. In this case, anthocyanin, which we see as a red color here in the youngest leaves of silver birch plant. We have here another birch plantlet, and if we look at the youngest leaves, we can still see the red color, but it's much more faint, and it's also present in some other leaves, but it's very difficult to estimate just by looking at it. How much? How to find this out then is that we can image them with a hyperspectral camera. So we clearly have two classes showing that some of the leaves have a spectrum that resembles the youngest leaves that appear to human eye being red and the other leaves are more or less green. Here we have the results for the second plant that was not so red. And we can see the same classes, but now we have a different pattern. We can clearly see that the anthocyanin is accumulating in many other places than on, on those leaves that we see it with our human eyes. Now the anthocyanin content and any other stress symptom is of interest to any biologist. But the way we want to study them is not only in the laboratory, where we get exact results, but slowly. And we want to estimate these stress responses in the field. The way to do that is by using this.